So I've been playing Minecraft now for over 12 years and I've learned a lot, but there seems to be one lesson that I just can't learn no matter how many times it burns me. And that lesson is don't decorate with obsidian or crying obsidian unless you really know you're going to like the end result. Because in this case, I didn't. And I decorated the entire elevator shaft with crying obsidian and it was ugly. And it took me hours to tear back out. But on the bright side, we have a much better design now for our elevator shaft. And I really like this one. And uh, if I ever did decide to tear it out, it would probably take way less time. But I'm not gonna because I do actually really like this. Used a lot of droppers. Uh, I was against this stone look in the beginning, but then I realized... We already have it with the pistons and stuff, so embrace it, and the droppers were the way to go. Obviously, we needed immovable blocks because of all the slime blocks and the honey blocks here in the actual uh, flying machine. So those were necessary. I just had to find something that would look decent, which uh, this does look a lot better than crying obsidian, wouldn't you say? So yeah, that is cool, and because of the changes I've made, I didn't have room for a button anymore to activate the elevator. So we've got ourselves a little secret way of activating this. Check this out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, by the way, yes, I did add a bunch of light in this elevator shaft, but because this light under me flashes, I try not to look at it in case anybody's got some photosensitivity. So, um, yeah, just just be careful as I ride this elevator. There's not much I can do. To, I, I, I do really like that light in the floor. I think it looks cool when it's just sitting there, but when I'm riding this thing, yeah, it's a, it's a bit obnoxious. It's so funny when you just stare at the ceiling, how all of a sudden you kind of feel like you're just walking normal. You're not actually going up. You're just going forward, like kind of being pushed behind you. But in reality, <laughs> you're not. Oh, that's so cool. I just noticed this light only flashes on the way up. On the way down, it's just fine. I don't know why that is. But I wanted to come back down because I have done other work in this tunnel to make it well okay let, let's just let's just be honest I've spent way too much time working on this tunnel but I really got excited I really just really got into this project and you just heard it and you probably saw the light flash I added some audio elements and uh yeah some redstone so basically if we stand in this tunnel in fact let's go all the way to the corner and I think I can get an angle to where you can see down both tunnels at the same time and you'll be able to see all the lights kind of flickering and maybe even hear some of that audio glitch. Uh, basically, it's supposed to sound like the light, the electrical to the light is kind of like glitching out. And you saw down there, it just flickered. All right, you try, to, try to look down both tunnels if you can. You saw one down the left there. Oh, and there it just happened to the one right above us here in the corner. Oh, how cool is that? Also, I spent way too much time adding in a little detail. There goes another one right there. Maybe you can spot it here. Just stare at the ceiling a little bit. And it is so subtle. There it was. There it was. Right above our heads. You guys see it? Oh, another one right there. Oh, this is such a cool experience walking down the tunnel. There you go. You see it? You see it? I added in some water. So there's little water droplets just as you walk, you know, so you can really get that feel that we're like way underground where there's a lot of moisture seeping through. And oh my gosh, like I said, took me way too long, but this is such a cool tunnel now. In fact, you guys haven't even seen the best part because <laughs> the glitch is going off like crazy here. So I have been watching a lot of B00. Um, you may have noticed from my intro a little bit inspired by the cinematics that he does. Uh, I really like one thing that he showed off, and that is the lighting. So I always keep my brightness at 100%, full bright, and he has changed his to 30. Now, I decided to give it a go. What does it look like in this tunnel at 30% brightness? And look at the difference. Oh my gosh. It, it's definitely darker, right? That's the, that's the point. But now that when the lights flicker, it's so much more noticeable. And this floor, that magma cube, magma block uh, glow that's coming through these grates is so much more prominent. It just looks so cool to me. So B-dubs, as usual, mad genius, you might be onto something. I don't know if I can switch to 30% like full blast like he has done. Um, but I definitely want to use it in certain areas where it makes sense. It makes the tunnel, in this case, look so much better at 30%. So let's walk along here and get the full experience. Hopefully, 
hopefully we'll experience some of the light glitches as we go. Uh, see the water dropping and just imagine traveling through this tunnel. There's a water drop in front of our face through this tunnel on your way to the bunker as you're exiting the city because, you know, there's a war brewing. But we're not going to spend any more time today working on the city or Metro Mayhem or the bunker even. No, not today. Today, we are going to join our friends in Magical Mountain here who have been doing some work. You see this? You see that they've got a little perimeter going. They've been digging. Things have been happening. But it's a slow process. Every once in a while, we just come over and dig out a few blocks until we get bored. And, and then we move on with our day. So I thought today I could potentially use some of my, you know, farming technical abilities to make this project a little easier on the crew. You know what I mean? Let's bring in the big guns. And it just so happens I have all the material that I need to make those big guns right here in this crate. And I found the perfect spot to build our new farm right here in the ocean. So I guess that only leaves one thing to do. Let's get built. And we've built not one, not two, not three, but four of these Nembom Creeper Farms. That's right. Tried and true. Tested for ages. In fact, I think uh, I was building this exact same design back in season five even. So yeah, it's been around for a while and it works flawlessly for just creepers here. We have the trap doors. And that is what makes it so it's just tree creepers. If you guys haven't seen this design, I'll try to explain it real quick. It is so dark in here. Uh, let me just put a torch right here, and then I'll kind of show you what it's like inside here. So we've got a dispenser here that floods water, as you saw, and it's pushing all the creepers off the edge here. And these trap doors are what makes it so it's just creepers. So usually you would get other two tall mobs, like zombies and, and skeletons and stuff. But these trap doors right here make it so those are too tall, they won't spawn. And then we've got these little glass pillars every once in a while to make sure that we don't get any spiders because those are a pain. We really only want the creepers for the gunpowder. That's right. We're going to collect a ton of gunpowder. And uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make... You guys figured it out, right? We're, we're going to make boom booms. It is so dark in here. Speaking of being dark, it's dark for a reason. We've got this huge roof on top of this thing so that it can function during the day and night and basically make sure all the spawning pads have a light level of zero. And then we've got basically just a, a redstone line here that goes around all these repeaters. So basically, it'll pass over. One of these has an observer under it. It'll pass over that. And basically, when the redstone signal crosses over the observer below the repeater, it will have a bucket come out of a dispenser so water floods all the platforms forms all the way down and a chain and then we've got one of these set up for each one so uh, I probably will tie all these together right now I just have four individual switches but let's go ahead and turn this thing on and we'll do all four of the spawning pads and then I made myself a little AFK spot way up there 
And a couple things that I want to mention. So you don't usually want to AFK above your farms because it will see the blocks that are above it. And then it will count those extra chunks for spawning. It's part of the crazy weird spawning algorithm. And so what we did here was we came over just a bit. Uh, hello, I want to go. I want to go in here. Can I go in here? That's what those are for. All right, and uh, we can stand here. I'm gonna enable a little cheaty bubble thing so that you guys can see exactly how we figured out how far up we needed to go. So basically, this red circle represents where anything can spawn, and that's the reason why we wanted to go in the ocean so we wouldn't have to go as high here. We could build this as low as possible, and then our spawning bubble kind of goes underwater where we don't have to worry too much. And there's also no land around that we needed to, to spawn proof. So there we go. We can see our platforms now. It's so dark inside. Oh, and here's the light levels as well. So we can check that with this mod. It's the mini HUD mod. So you can see that all the platforms absolutely have a light level of zero when there's no water on them. And why is this water not shutting off? There it goes. Okay. Because we turned them on in a sequence there, uh, they're going to be running in that same sequence. So there you go. You can see that. Let me turn that off. And there's our creepers being spawned, and they'll get flushed down here and then into the middle where they're just going to go on these soul campfires. And holy cow, <laughs> that is a lot of creepers. Wow, I was not, oh my goodness, I was not expecting this many to be honest, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. So we've got a perfect spawning bubble for this, and even with other people on the server, it is cranking. All right, underneath, obviously, we've got some hoppers to collect the goods from the underneath the campfires and then go into chests. This is all underwater. I got to do something about that, uh, which I will. But right now, I think I'm just going to spend some time AFKing. Let's get rid of that. And that way we can collect a whole bunch of gunpowder so that we can do what we came here to do today. Big bada boom. While I'm hanging out here waiting for gunpowder to collect, let's give a quick thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Subject prefers carrots as his form of starch. Subject likes to build with tough. Hmm, a complete disregard for sheep life. Dude, what are you doing? I somebody's paying me to track your habits. Carry on, ignore me. Paying you to track my habits? What? Yeah, yeah. It's just I'm not here. I'm just watching you. Dude, don't you feel like that's a little intrusive? Why, why are you tracking my habits? Subject finds privacy to be important. Dude, stop. That's rude. Yeah, being spied on doesn't feel great, does it? But that's what your internet service provider is doing to you right now. And you may be thinking you're covered because you're using incognito mode, but I hate to tell you this, they can still see what you're doing. And most ISPs log your internet activity and then sell that information to other big tech companies or advertisers. So I put a stop to that by protecting all my devices with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a simple to use app for your computer or smartphone that encrypts all the data you send over the network and tunnels it through a secure VPN server so your ISP can't see any of your activity. I also use ExpressVPN to help with my connection to the Hermitcraft server. Not only does it not slow down my internet speed, but it also helps me get a more stable connection by rerouting my connection through one of their many available VPN servers. And voila, my connection to the Hermitcraft server is great once again. So stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech giants who mine your activity and sell off your information and protect yourself with a VPN I trust to keep me private online. And as a gift to all of you, my amazing viewers, you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com impulse. I'll put a link in the description below so you can tap that and start protecting yourself today. Now let's get back to some Hermitcraft. All right, I've AFK'd for a couple hours now, and I wanted to see what we've got. There's still a few stragglers fighting their way off the platform, and uh, we'll take it. We'll take the extra gunpowder there. But let's go underneath. I've got these chests underwater here, which I definitely need to do something about so that I can get the gunpowder without drowning, of course. But look at that. They're almost full. Holy cow. Almost. Okay, I ended at the perfect time. If I had AFK'd for another hour, those probably would have been overflowing and we would have been wasting gunpowder. I need to beef up that storage system a little bit if I'm going to AFK for more than just a few hours at a time. And uh, yeah, probably do a little underwater bit so we can get to it and collect it nice and easily from the portal. So yeah, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that next. And then there's one other thing we need to collect today. All right, problem has been solved. We got a little glass tunnel underneath the water, which is kind of cool. We can look out 
And in here we can safely get to all of our supply of gunpowder. I've expanded the storage on all of these, so this should allow us to AFK for, I'd say, at least 24 hours or so before we need to worry about this filling up. And we can get to all four sections here. I've already emptied this one out because I want to make some TNT today. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, before we do that, like I said, we need one more thing. We need to get some sand. crafting the TNT two double chests worth and I'm kind of in that mood right like go big or go home obviously I'm in that mood today you saw the size of that creeper farm so I'm gonna go ahead and prep the land here we're gonna go ahead and bury all this TNT and then get ourselves ready for a huge explosion we're gonna we're gonna one and done this project I think you know I'm gonna tap into my good old boomer skills from season seven and we are going to make this job complete in one go all right it is time i've spent a long time burying tnt underneath the surface of this perimeter on this mountain and yeah pretty much everywhere you look there's gonna be some tnt scattered underneath and i think it's time I, I didn't go all the way down to bedrock because i well i didn't have that much tnt but i think i planted enough that we're gonna make a pretty big dent in this thing today so <sighs> Without further, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know if you can tell. I'm a little bit nervous, but let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. I, you know what? I'm going to get out of here. That's a lot of TNT buried. I think I want to be protected over here, and we'll just let it do its thing over there. Some TNT definitely flew over this way and have hit my base. And, uh, oh, that was, uh-oh. That was much bigger of an explosion than I had anticipated. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, shoot. I think I miscalculated how much TNT to use for this blast. I mean, oh, we put a pretty good dent in this thing, but, oh no, it's pretty much gone. My entire storage room. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh, oh, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I did not expect any TNT to come shooting out the mountain and come, oh my goodness. Oh no, oh shoot, it hit Joel's as well. What? No. Oh, mistakes have been made. What? Oh, what's this? What's this? No, that's my elevator shaft. We literally just redid that. Oh, where's the bunker? The bunker's completely gone too. It completely destroyed the bunker. Oh no. Okay. All right. Shoot. We got to go around and see how much more damage. Oh no. Is that Mumbo's? Okay. Uh, how much damage did it do to Mumbo's? It looks like Mumbo's is fairly okay. What about Scars? I think Scar. Oh. Oh, how about this? How about this? Oh, no. Oh, no. It, it, it broke some of his train tunnel. What else? How about Greens? Is Greens okay? Please, 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 please. No, what was this? What was this? It looks like it might have... Oh, no. What was this? Was this a farm or something? Greens. Oh, is this Greens Creeper Farm? Oh, shoot. I don't think that's going to work anymore. And the... Oh, I think that's his Mushroom Stem Farm. Yeah. 
Oh, we made an absolute mess. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Okay, okay, okay. What about gems? What about gems? The skull is looking like it might have survived. Oh, oh no. Oh, even that got hit. How? No! Even stuff out here got hit. What about Skiz's place? Skiz's place intact? Oh, you know what? I think Skiz's place survived somehow. Oh, this is not funny. Stop laughing. This is a mess. His storage room? Okay. Well, good. His his new storage is in, in, in place. <laughs> so there's one silver lining, but holy cow. Look at the devastation of my storage. Oh, do I even have anything left? Where, where, where do I go? How do I get in here? Oh, this is... <gasps> no! No, this is part of Bop and Go. No, 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 no. Oh, Bop and Go is pretty much destroyed. Yep. No, how about the record shop? Yeah. Oh, there's holes in the wall. Oh no. Oh no. Soup. Soup shop. Where you going, Stewie? You don't look so good. Did you get hit? Oh my gosh. I, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to leave. This is a disaster, guys. What are we going to do? This is We're going to have to rebuild all this. This is going to be a lot of work. We should have just continued digging it out. How much of my storage is left? Is there anything in there? It looks like... Uh, don't want to burn. It looks like, okay, some stuff is salvaged, at least. We lost all of that bit. Oh, man. We lost a lot. We lost a lot. All right. Well, thankfully, Ender Chest exists, so at least we have our stuff we... Wait. Where's all our stuff? Just mission. From Mission Possible. Maybe that's what we should do. We pretend this never happened, and we'll just go complete our Mission Possible... While we reflect on our bad decisions in life. All right. What was our mission again? Oh, yeah Prank your viewers in any way you seem fit big or small this mission completes when you reveal your prank How about a big prank like one where we pretend we blew up the mountain in my base and others bases and stuff That that seems like a pretty good prank, right? Did you fall for it cuz this isn't actually the Hermitcraft server. This is a backup copy of it in a single player world that I annihilated and pretended it was the real server. Did I get you? Did I get you? Do you hate me? Don't hate me. Hate the messenger. I'm not the one who made this mission, okay? I had to prank you somehow. And, uh, well, I would say this constitutes it's going big. So I can't look at this mess anymore. Let's go to the real Hermitcraft server where everything is a okay. Aha, we are back and you can see everything is just fine. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, look at this. Yeah, see, look, beef sticks good. Tyler Swift is good. Our door is still here and actually functions. Everything is just fine. And best news of all, uh, we, this, this was actually real. Like, we actually did create that creeper farm and make all this TNT. Uh, you know, that's not too double chest worth like like I, I pretended to be but uh, you know We have TNT so we could do a much more controlled Explosion of the mountain and uh, make sure we don't blow up things. We're not supposed to blow up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go um, uh, Really, I only planted just a couple TNT right here. So that's that's the damage that we actually did <laughs> But yeah, we can we can actually help now with proper TNT explosions and stuff and get this thing going So that's good news. That's absolutely good news And I think we should um, we should go cash in our mission possible since you know, we did it All right, so I've been hiding this book from you guys for a while now It's nice to be able to finally show you guys here's our first mission possible token And then when we put this in the system, we should get another one and then we get a little prize Oh Alright, let's see here. So we need to get our token first. Hand in completed missions here to get your reward. Got a cool bookshelf. So if we do that, takes it out. And there's our second token. Very nice. Now we put two tokens in here and we get a spin. Got lots of sounds going. TNT! Well, that's fitting. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> That is hilarious. What in the world? <laughs> oh no. That is too good. That is too good. Oh my goodness. You know what they say? It's better to be lucky than good. I mean, that couldn't have been scripted any better. 
All right, I'm done goofing with you guys for today, but I had a fun time helping Scar catch an evoker the other day, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of footage from that because uh, chaos and, and fun. Impulse, are you a big uh, expert on raids? Uh, yeah, I mean, I faced a few raids in my time, for sure. Do you know where they hide? <laughs> Usually underground. Uh, let's over, go over here. I, I brought the bell. This is the bell I stole from Doc on day one. This one? Um, yeah, I brought it over, but I see nothing. You know what would happen if if you just didn't worry about it, right? I need a magic hands, man. Oh, you want the next spawn? Okay. No, Wait, I'm you're not gonna tormenting B dibs with a raid next to his base. I, I'm. You're gonna I'm capture. To... You're gonna capture any uh, any evoker. Yeah, on stream. yeah, I've done it before. On stream right oh, now. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm an Live expert at this. In front of an audience. <laughs> okay, we go. <laughs> sure, good plan. Do you want to do redstone Last after that? Last time I captured one, it went it went smoothly. I only died a couple you wanna, times. You want to tackle a redstone project when you're done on stream in front of your audience? I found him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, there, guys, come on, you incompetent fools! Right. <laughs> But these aren't magic hands, man. So. No, no magic hands in this in this bit. Whoa, he, he went flying. I, I, what I'm trying to figure out actually is how I'm gonna get magic hands, man, all the way back to my base. <laughs> That's gonna be a long ride. Oh, oh, down here, down here. Oh, okay. you're gonna get some magic. Magic, magic, magic. No magic, just switches. Okay, new okay, raid coming. Let's see. This is definitely the one. Are you ready? You have a minecart or something? I, yeah, I got some stuff. I got a, oh, I great. Got a boat and I got a minecart. Perfect. Boat's probably easiest. You can put it on the ground anywhere. I want to boat track. it. If I oh, could here boat it, it would be the easiest. Oh my goodness. That's a big raid. Oh, dang it. I dropped the boat. I don't know why I dropped the boat, but I dropped the boat. He spawned a lot of... Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Goods all over impulse. <laughs> oh, you'll be okay. Uh-oh. No, that was a sarcastic tone to your voice. <laughs> I lost the boat. I lost the I boat. I got it. I grabbed the boat. I grabbed the boat. I thought you were killing the Ravager, man. The Ravager's right on my butt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Scar. Scar. Yeah, no! <laughs> no. No. Wait, did you get my stuff? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Impulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your hat. I'll tell you. I'll put mine on. What'd you save? Okay. Anything? Yeah. Anything? Did you get the did you get the like your your hat and stuff? So you probably got my sword, I have my hopefully. Head. Uh I don't know your if this is your sword or not. Yeah, probably yours. And that's okay. just that's definitely your axe. How's it going, gentlemen? Oh, we're oh, doing great. Great things. You come really to help. Good, actually. Yeah. Oh, food's food would be good. Do we have food? Yeah. yeah. How's your day going? Uh, yeah, yeah. How's everything oh, going PG. for you? PG. Yeah, good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Everything's fine with us as well. Yeah, we're we're helping out this village. And you know, yeah. just having fun. Oh, just, just, just having fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I noticed there's some guys walking around that are like ridiculously oh, fast. Yeah. yeah, they're cool though. Like everybody gets those neighbors from time to time. They get a little bit unruly, but you know, they're fine. Did the neighbors you throw peaches at? Why is that guy so fast? Like for real? I was gonna like, ask. Look that. at him. Look at him. Super cracked out. He like snorted no. sugar <laughs> for breakfast. He did. All right, are we killing him or what? What's no, no, no. He's, he's magic hands has to be saved. Magic has, and, and is he okay? Is everyone else dead? Put the no. Bow away. Put the bow away. Okay. Should okay. we? I could. I so, could try to kill the other guys, but we need magic hands. All so right. my question is, if I can get him in a boat and start rowing the boat, uh huh, would I be safe? Define safe. Well, I feel like if I get enough speed, I can avoid the vexes. If I could get in the waterway, I could row it all the way to so, my base. Right here leads to your yes. base. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. All right. Well, in fact, we why don't just we just get it over here? That why don't help. we just do this? Yeah, you have a boat. Just... There you go. Easy. Boom. <laughs> don't yep. be snickering at me. What? I spent so much thought energy trying to figure out how I was going to get it from this body of water to this body of water. You're just like, look at my shovel. Yeah. God. I feel humiliated right now. I need to go. I need to have a moment alone. I'll be right back. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> Why is there a vindicator there? Oh, gosh! Oh, no! Oh, wait, we need the vindicator. For what? Are you at your chest? No! Wait. wait. Oh, screaming in the background. No! <laughs> 
I don't like him. I don't like him. Oh no, there's another magic hands. There's another magic hands. There's another magic hands. There's another magic hands. There's two magical guys. I found another magical guy. Oh gosh. There's two? Are you guys just gonna stand around watching or are you gonna do something? Well, what exactly is your goal there, Naked Boy? Dude, there's just like Saturday night I was gonna kill all the rest of the guys so we could focus on Magic Hands, but Magic Hands is taking over. That was a total Scooby Doo episode right there. Magic Hands is taking over. Stop it! in there for fun. Stop it! Yeah, that's what you get. Stop it! Okay. I gotta get my stuff back, by the way. We need a plan. We need a plan. Yeah, get my stuff back. Magic Hand guy? Go put him in a boat right now, Scar. Yeah, Scar. Put him in a boat. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! Dude, this is actually better than Captain. Hey, get out of here! Oh, jeez. Maybe one of you guys that actually has a weapon could come kill oh, these you have guys for me, yeah? You got an opening. You got an opening. Run for it. Run. Oh, oh, you got go, it. You go, got go. it. Go. Guys are the worst. That so out. I don't know why he's so fast. Why is this Vindicator going to be all my stuff right here? Kill you! Ha! Yeah. Okay. I got him! I got him, guys! I got him! Let's do this! Oh. Let's do this. Come on. Dude, I'm How's it so going? smart, I just fall into things. How's uh -oh. it going? Guys, just, I need an axe. Just, just keep on boating. Yeah, need, you'll be right. Uh oh! I need, I need some of the axe sit here. Oh, guys. No, you don't. Help. Oh, no! Who put that? Who put that there? Look at him go! Look at his... <laughs> <laughs> you got this! I can't believe this is working. Just gotta keep going. Go, 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 go. Don't stop moving, oh, wow. Scar. Did you see him make a circle of evoker teeth? I've never seen it. Look at that. Oh. He's so confused he doesn't know where to put his evoker teeth. He just makes <laughs> a circle. I just figured, guys, if we got fast enough, we would avoid the attacks. I think it's, it's working. working, honestly. The evoker has no idea what to do. Have, have you guys seen it do those circle-y <laughs> things before? No! It's uh -oh. a very confused evoker. It's hard to it's hard to sail and watch him at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is one so frustrated funny. evoker right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, he really wants to hurt you. Teeth. He has no idea how. Guys, you're almost worked. there! I'm so happy right now. Yes, you're almost there. You're gonna have to gonna leave him in the right boat. Here, right You're gonna have to name tag him. Yeah. Yeah, name tag Can him. Can you get a name tag? Can you get a name tag? Uh. Mm. Guys, I, I can't get out. I can't get out. Okay. Yeah, that's a good time to get out of the boat. He did the little guy. Oh, oh geez, whoa! That thing's got some range. Spiker, he's up here. Wow. So the plan, guys, if you're wondering, is to oh. put the Ravager up in the little like box hole thing up there. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then he can basically like you know summon vexes, and I think it'll look really cool of them like flying around the top of the villain's car. I love it. How are you gonna get him up there? I'm kind of basking in the glory right now of my idea. Yeah, I mean you should. You should. That was a very triumphant moment. <laughs> it just hasn't processed the actual like how to get there just yet. Yeah. That, You're that so focused the, on how uh, good the idea is, you haven't realized the steps it's going to take to make it come to fruition. Yeah, that was the easy part. <laughs> that was so much fun, and this has been a really fun episode. We've actually accomplished quite a lot in this episode. As you can see behind me, our creeper farm is running and collecting tons of gunpowder. So maybe next episode we can put an actual dent in Magic Mountain in a more controlled fashion to where we won't blow up stuff we didn't mean to. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. So if you did, please consider hitting that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.